child's pose, just something different. I try to mix it up, you guys. If you prefer to start on your back and it's you love being on your back, go for it. It's not a problem. But if you're ready to start as a class, welcome everyone. I'm so proud of you for making it. Let's start in child's pose with the arms out in front of us, forehead to the ground. Now, if that hurts your knees, you can lift the hips up. They don't have to be all the way down to the heels. Let's just begin by closing our eyes and start to bring the awareness inside the body. And notice where you're feeling this the most. And see if you can open that area up, probably where you notice it the most is where there's tightness or pain. So we're gonna use pain as our guide, as our friend to communicate with us as to what our body needs. And let that pain guide you. So use your breath, your exhale predominantly as you shift into your painful areas. Kind of like, you know how a weightlifter lifts up the weight when it's, that's the hardest part. Whenever you feel pain, if you're going to gently shift into that pain, you want to be relaxing the internal muscles and organs. So that's why I recommend the exhale so that everything kind of softens and you can go deeper into your pain or tightness. So remember, this class is always freestyle. If you find yourself shifting or moving, I recommend that. That's your body saying, ouch, I need to shift this way or I need to release. Let your body be your guide. If some of you are just still, that's wonderful too. Deep breath, inhale, let's walk the hands to the right, everybody. Stretch your fingertips out. And again, this is freestyle. So if you find, oh, I wanna come forward a little with my hips and rock, just let's be authentic and true to our own bodies. Open the mouth, let the breath come out. Just right here in child's pose, deep, deep breathing. Open the mouth. When you're ready, we can slowly walk the hands to the left. And again, if your hips want to come up or down or just stay still, let your body decide. We're going to let go of the thinking. We can think after class. So this is a form of meditation. Letting ourselves feel instead of thinking it helps calm the mind. Coming back to center with the hands. So the question I suggest that you keep asking yourself throughout the entire class is what am I feeling now? Maybe question two might be how can I open or shift or release any tightness and it's a feeling these are feeling questions feel the shoulders the head the neck the hips let's open the mouth breathe it out everybody walk the fingers further forward feel that stretch Make it feel good for you. Slowly, we're going to come up to Marsha's pose. She wanted this one to be named after her cat, Cow, because she loves farm animals. <laughs> so let's round up. Remember, you each get an asana named after you the time. And let's arch. So again, it, this is freestyle to close your eyes once you know what we're doing. Feel that lower back. I 
like to involve the shoulders in cat cow, maybe roll the shoulders, try to involve the whole body. Maybe rock the head, deep breathing. So we're really taking it more into your own version of cat cow. These are free farm animals. <laughs> okay, they're not in a fence. They're not fenced, especially the cow, right? We're circling free range cat cow. Breathe it out. Sorry for the bad jokes. <laughs> You'll get many of them. Let's hear you moan or groan. Let it go. Remember that question we ask ourselves? What am I feeling? Where am I feeling it? Is there a way I can shift or move to assist my body in the opening process? And then that's, that's enough thinking, right? We don't need to think any more than that. Breathe it out. Have fun here. This is a very happy cat cow. Nice. So if you're having a good time with cat cow, just stay there. Keep rounding, archling, circling. Another option, lift the right leg. Connect with your core. Stay here or left arm reaches out in front of you. Once you know what we're doing, line up your spine, try to lift that right leg higher, breathe it out. Nice, just an option, little core option, left elbow to right knee and gently extend. If that's too much, don't do it. Find your variation, left elbow, right knee. I find if you go slow and reach, you get just a wonderful workout here. Open the mouth, breathe it out, just two more. Feel that right leg lift higher. Nice. And level two, you guys can reach back with the left hand for the right foot. If that's too much, just go ahead and reach one more time. Hold it, breathe, a little higher. And let's all bring the right knee forward for pigeon. So we can put that block under that right hip, just starting you slow to warm up your body. Remember, I recommend buying these blocks, the foam blocks or wooden blocks or pillows. You could put three pillows under that right hip. This is the yin asana. You want to relax here, surrender into this. This should feel good. If it's not, lean a little more to your right. Don't make it so intense. By the way, you guys, I dressed up for you. I wore, wore a really dressy shirt just to mix it up, okay? You're welcome. It's not the most comfortable for yoga. I just realized it's a little hot. Deep breathing here. Just wanted to spice up your day, right? Maybe we'll do a dress up day where we can all dress up, like on a Friday. What do you guys think? You can send me messages in the chat or my email if you have any opinions about dressing up for yoga. You can shift left or right here. Fantastic time to explore your body. Eyes closed, keep navigating the internal terrain of your body. Nice, you can stay down or hands under the shoulders and we'll just come up maybe a quarter of the way you're comfortable coming up, twisting right or left. Good, just breathe it out, maybe roll the shoulders. Find a way that serves you. Again, you have to find the pillows or whatever you need to support you to, so that you're not suffering. This is not suffering yoga. Feel what you're doing, make it feel good in the shoulders. 
coming up higher if you're comfortable with it. Good time for audible exhale. Nice. And slow and controlled, we're going to go into plank. If you don't want to do plank, go back to child's pose. Okay, so back into plank if you want, or child's pose, stretch it back. You choose. Everyone's stretching. If you're in plank, we're treading out the heels. Just stretching through one calf at a time. A very, I love this variation. A plank is dropping one knee and maybe just putting 50% of the weight into the torso if it's hard for you. But it helps line you up right in that perfect spot. Two more breaths. Just trying to build up a little heat, everybody. And let's open the knees wide. Oh, go back for child's pose. Stretch it back. Audible. Exhale. If some of you do want more, if you're feeling like you have a lot of energy, go into child's pose push-ups. Or just stay right here. So you have that option always. Make this class serve you. One more deep breath here. Nice, we'll come back to all fours. Let's just play with cat-cow one more time here. Deep breathing, feel the shoulders. See how good you can make this feel for you. Okay, it's freestyle again. Try to bring the whole body into it. If you're tight in the neck, let the head go. Nice. So you can stay in cat cow if you came here to stretch today or level two left leg lifts. You can keep that right hand down or extend the right arm. So try to keep the spine long though, gaze towards the mat. So you want the head to look down and see if you can feel the left glute contract a little more. Lift that left leg a little higher if you can, right arm further forward. Again, you can keep that right hand down. This is still a great workout for that left glute. You don't have to extend the right arm. If you want to take it one step further, right elbow, left knee. So that engages the core. So try to go slow and controlled and see how intense you can make this for you. So the crunching and the extension, not just faking it, not going through the motions, but feeling. Good. I hope you're playing some music, you guys. Last two. And last one. So you can just stay here or level two. You guys reach back for that left foot. If you can't reach that left foot, don't even worry about it. Kick into the right hand. Relax the neck. And release. Good. Let's slowly swing the left knee forward. Pigeon on the left side. Good. Crawl back those right feet, toes. You can put the pillows between under that left hip. Support yourself so you're comfortable. Allowing yourself to be present in your body. The way to stay present is to keep feeling where you're tight, where you need an opening, or another option, it's still another bodily sensation, is right at the nostrils, feeling the breath as it inhales through the nose. That's another great anchor to keep you in your body. So I know a lot of people stay still in pigeon. I don't. I like to shift left. I like to shift right. Maybe relax the neck or head more. 
You can even massage the back of the neck. Or a good time to do a temple press to the forehead and temples, massaging the face. For those of you that came in a little bit late, I said, we're gonna break rules and we're gonna touch our face. So you might, if you're nervous about that, have some wipes or wash your hands first. But it feels good to do pressure point work on the temples, the jawline, the mandibular joint. We hold so much tension there. For you grinders and clenchers, massage of the jaw. Just closing the eyes, making it feel phenomenal for you. Deep breathing, everybody, staying present in your body. Maybe a good time to inhale some loving, nurturing energy for yourself. Maybe massage your neck. You hold so much tension in the neck. See, and the other beauty of doing this is it kind of gets your mind off how tight that left hip is, right? You, you kind of fool your body. You help your body relax. So if you're loving this pressure point work, I want you to stay here. If you want to move on, hands under the shoulders, coming up just a quarter of the way, twisting right or left. Making it feel great for you in the shoulders, the back, the hip. Soften that jaw. Two more deep breaths here. Taking the weight onto the hands, you can push back to child's pose or back to plank. So you have your option. Remember the modified plank too, where you drop one knee. You guys are all getting so strong now. We just wanna get this body warmed up. So great to see you all. Two more breaths. Good. And let's go to downward dog. So we're just going to gently rock out the head, tread out the heels. Audible. Exhale. Make it feel good to you. Don't worry. We'll do stuff on our back. I promise. I promise. Tread out those heels. This should feel good. This should feel like a stretch for you. You can always bend the knees, drop to child's pose if it's ever too much. Feel each calf as you stretch it down. Good. And walk the feet to the hands. Uttanasana, forward bend. Shake out the head. Feel what you're doing. Good rocking right or left. This should feel great to you guys. Good. Let that head go. Beautiful. Nancy, good to see you. Michelle. Casey, deep, deep breathing. Nice. And let's all just ease into Lavasana squat. Now, do you have your pillows nearby or your block? Hopefully. I know it's early in the class to go into Lavasana, but we're just mixing it up. Good. Any support is fine. Again, you can be against the wall. Take as long as you need or be on the pillows. Soften the soles of the feet. Beautiful. Just let yourself be present in your body here. So if you have to find a different way so that this serves you, be truthful with yourself. Find it. Two more breaths here, pushing with the elbows, close your eyes. Give your body a chance to relax here. Don't rush the process. 
Nice. And when you're ready, guess what? We get to roll to the back. I know you guys love this part. Such a great massage, right? So we'll pull the knees in. We'll go right into happy baby. Hands into the feet, feet into the hands, rocking side to side. Massaging the back. So I do recommend, if you can, to kind of come into class, if you can, five or 10 minutes early. Sometimes I go into my, the classes I take, even 20 minutes early, and I give myself the stretches like I need to warm up because every day we feel differently, right? And sometimes we're just so tight in a specific area. And give yourself a little extra time, and I might even be on the phone working while I'm doing it. But I warm up myself a little bit. And I do recommend that for you guys. Let's rock the body side to side. Open the mouth. Let's inhale some positive healing breaths right here. Connecting with your body. So for those of you feeling tight today, just stay right here. I'm going to give a core option, keeping the legs in a straddle, reaching to the inside of the opposite foot. You can support the head with the opposite hand. And try to go into what you're feeling. Breathe it out. Audible exhales, everybody, whether you're still in happy baby rocking or if you're doing the core work, let's all breathe. If you're doing the core, let's come straight up, interlace the index fingers, chin to chest. This works higher into the rectus abdominis muscles. Knees are soft. Breathe it out. Come up a little higher, feel what you're doing, feel that connection, beautiful, nice. And we'll drop both knees to the right, arms to the left. Audible exhale, guys. Is this not the best stretch in the world? Feels so good. If it doesn't feel good, then maybe you're twisting too deeply. Let your body roll a little more to the right. A little in and out. Actually, let's all do that today. I love ro rolling on the body. So we create our bodies as a roller instead of having a roller. We just roll to the right and the right arm is extended, right ear on the right shoulder. So we roll in and out of this twist. Pressing into the whole right extended arm overhead. So if you're tight on that right side, stay more on the right side. You can roll back and forth. Close your eyes, making it feel good for you. It's a feeling sensation. And when you're ready, we'll go back to the twist and we're gently going to rotate our left arm. Nice. If some of you tighten that left shoulder, just let it hang behind you. You could even take your prop, if you have a pillow or block, and put it behind you and just let that left shoulder open if you need a little support. Nice. So again, remember, we're always using all these tricks, these different yoga toys to help us out. Or you can just stay with the circling. Deep breathing, making it feel phenomenal for you. So we're going for 
not just okay, but we're going for phenomenal. How's that? Really loving our bodies. Maybe if you're tight, you want to do some pressure point work with your fingertips and a hip or shoulder. Really getting to know your muscles, your fascia, the ligaments, the bones. Not being afraid to touch our own bodies to really open them up further. So an option is to bend those elbows, hands behind the head. Just feel this beautiful twist. Nice. And if you want the core work, level one, just a little lift or just stay in the twist. Level two, left elbow up to left knee. And level three, remember we're working at that diagonal and that's more of a Pilates move. I only recommend it if you've been doing it for a long time. Everyone doing what works for them. We don't go for high reps. We go for mind-body connection. Last one. And let's bring the right foot on the left knee. Good twist the torso back to the left. Knees are still to the right. We haven't switched. Breathe it out. Beautiful, everybody. So wait, Beverly, are you at the ocean or is that just a drop, uh, backdrop? <laughs> okay, I think it might be a backdrop. <laughs> We're all jealous <laughs> of your backdrop. <laughs> Let the hips squeeze a little forward and back. Pull down with that right foot, making it feel great for you. Nice. You can stay here longer if you're tight in that left IT band or roll to the spine, pigeon on our back. We'll pull in that left leg. We can rock side to side. Again, closing your eyes back into the feeling what needs to be released. Try flexing both feet. Let's take some powerful deep inhales, positive energy. Really helping ourselves boost our own adrenaline, endorphins. We have that power to make ourselves feel good. Yoga is fantastic for that. Just keep replacing any negative thoughts with a positive thought. Just a little trick, they're all tricks. Okay, you can stay here in pigeon or hands behind the back. Little crunch, level two, left leg extends. Beautiful. So going back into feeling the body, feeling the core. See how you can challenge yourself a little bit more so that this serves you for what you came here for today. Making it feel right for you. Nice, last two. Everyone breathing, good job you guys. 95% of it is just showing up, being here for yourself on the mat. Okay, half bridge, hands under the back and lift the hips. We're over halfway through the class. Give yourself this hour to isolate. We can lift and drop through that left glute. Again, you can place your left hand on that glute if you're not sure if you're isolating in the right place. Level two, you guys, or three, you can extend the right leg to the sky. Scooping out the abdominals, everyone. Breathe it out. Deep breathing. Beautiful. Two more. Hold it up. Put the right foot back on top. One last pigeon. 
holding that left leg, rock it side to side. Flex the feet. Audible, exhale everybody. Ah, let's breathe it out together. Nice, and slowly staying here or yoga bicycle. So you choose what you want today. If you're doing yoga bicycle, remember we connect with what we're doing as we twist and breathe. Let's all flex the feet wherever you are. Pull the toes towards the body. It's a nice stretch through the calves. If you're doing the core, lift the torso higher. Beautiful, you guys, we're getting stronger every class. So proud of you. Let's drop the knees to the left, arms to the right. Audible exhale again. Hopefully you're noticing how much better your body feels by waking it up, stretching and isolating. And then just like we did on the other side, we're gonna to roll to the left with our body weight and massage out the left side of the body. Left ear on the left upper extended arm bone. If you're tight in that IT band, roll on that left thigh. For you e-bikers, I know about you, regular bikers, massage out that left quad. For you non-bikers, <laughs> It still can be tight, okay, just because you're alive, you're human. Let's twist back to the right, feel that twist. And we can circle, notice my beautiful roses. You know what these guys are these, this is my Mother's Day gift. So we're circling the right arm over the roses. That's not a virtual thing, that, these are actually real. You never know these days, right? Beverly Fooliness. Uh, with her ocean breaking. Um, they smell so good, these roses from my Mother's Day gift. Let's circle the arm the other way. Maybe you have something fun that you can run your hands over. Dirty, I have a dirty floor, a very dirty floor. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> and let's bring both hands behind the head, bend the elbows. Ah, make it feel good. Now you're welcome to stay here or a little lift up, oblique work, right elbow, lifting up. You can keep the knees down, level two. Knees come up and level three, diagonal with both legs lifting. Another option can be to reach the right hand up to the leg, so that's level four. Boy, how many levels do we go up? I don't, don't ask me, I'm just making this all up as we go. Breathe it out. Beautiful, you guys. Positive energy. Last two. Beautiful, let's all bring the left foot over the right knee. Stretch the arms back to the right. Push the pelvis to the left. So you wanna squeeze forward. Through that right glute. And we'll roll to the spine. We'll pull that right leg in, pigeon on the back, holding the right leg, left leg on top. Remember, some of you, if you need the strap instead, if it's too hard of a reach, I'd rather have your shoulders back and using a strap than being rounded up the whole time. You can do both, but feel the difference when you open up the chest and shoulders. Breathe it out. Left foot on top. This is one of my favorite stretches also. So the two I recommend every day are pigeon, whether it's the way we did it earlier or on our back, and lavasana squat. Those are your, 
I think the two best stretches. Child's pose is great too. Okay, maybe three. So you can stay here relaxing or a little crunch, just an option, or extend that right leg coming all the way up. Breathe it out. You guys are doing great. Well over halfway through the class. Give yourself this time. Stay with me if you can, breathing. Feel the inside of the body. Nice, let's all bend the right knee and half bridge. So we open up that left knee, lift up the hips, squeeze through the right glute. Okay, why do we do all of these? These are just like doing squats, but it's less pressure on your knees. Get great results, trust me, in the back side of your body. Strengthens the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. We could stay here or drop and lift. Okay, my floor is really creaking. Drop and lift. Level three, you guys can extend that left leg up. Isolating that right glute. Can you hear my floor? It's not my body cracking like that, although sometimes it does feel like <laughs> Probably my house is gonna fall down. Okay, last one. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's bring that left foot back on last time. Hold the right leg. Good, just stretch or rock side to side. Another great audible exhale, everybody. Breathe it out. So you can stay here. Last core option of the day, scissoring the legs, reaching to the outside of the opposite leg. Just an option, or you stay right there and pigeon. Let's all flex our feet, whether you're in pigeon or scissoring. Beautiful, you guys, waking up the body. Ten seconds left. Beautiful, and let's pull both knees in as tight as you can, audible exhale. Let me hear you, I can hear you, I'm sure. Free up your breath, just free it up. I go to a lot of Ray Day festivals, for those of you that know me, and they, I always laugh because I don't smoke pot, uh, it's fine if you do, I have no judgments. But they always say like, free up the herb. And I always say, wait, no, just free up the breath. So that's where I got that from my reggae festivals. Free up that breath. We don't need the herb to free up the breath. Okay, let's roll forward and back. Massaging the spine. And we'll come right into boat pose, everybody. So if you have a strap, you can use a strap. You can hold the legs. See if you can lengthen the spine and feel your core engage. Beautiful. Nice to see you all. Open the mouth. I find it helps to moan or groan or grunt. If I didn't have this mic on, I'd be making much more noise. Trust me. I don't want to scare you guys. <laughs> when I take class, I'm really noisy. And let's go into tabletop, feet under the knees, heels right under the knees. We lift the hips, we rock the head. We connect with our shoulders, our hips, our neck. We make it feel good. Find your way to enjoy tabletop here. Maybe push more through the palms, maybe lean into one shoulder. And we'll come back to Lavasana squat. We did that earlier. You can use your block. You can use the wall. I actually recommend the wall, you guys. You get a different shoulder opening. I like the wall here. Nice. Great to see you all. I hope you're having a great day.
once you know what we're doing, you can soften your gaze or close your eyes, shift the weight around. If some of you like to go up to crow vakasana, balancing, you can go up to crow. Or slowly, we're going to lift the hips and forward bend. Oh good, I have a cat in class and Tish, Tish just left the room and her cat's in the class. Okay, I'm gonna give her a hard time. So Tish is my friend. We, Tish, we like your cat. <laughs> we like your cat. <laughs> we know each other from semester at sea. I think I've told you guys that before. She's done it a few times. I highly recommend semester at sea if you have children, or you can even go on as a mature adult on semester at sea. It's an educational program. It's phenomenal. It goes around the world. It's the only ship I'm aware of uh, that goes literally around the entire globe. So you'll start like in LA and end up in New York a few months later. So let the head go. Rock it side to side. Bending and lengthening. And they have just great classes like ethnography. You study the art history of each country you're going to, or oceanography. You chart your route in on the ship. It's just, oh, it was incredible. Can't recommend any program more than that that I'm aware of. Shake out your head, let it go. Make this feel great for you. Soften the soles of the feet. Another time for a great audible exhale. Nice, and we'll walk the hands back out for downward dog. So we're looking for that V, everybody, pulling the chest towards the thighs. Now, if you've had a rough day, or rough yesterday, I don't know, you can drop into child's pose, drop the knees. I'm going to offer a more advanced option, right leg to the sky. That's for people that have been with me for a while. We can bend that right knee, little circles, and circle the other way. Good. And knee to nose. Everyone, let's step the right foot forward for a low lunge. Another great time to use blocks. If you need blocks, or if you need firm pillows or a chair, if this is hard for you. Lean right or left. Find your way. You can always drop the knee, level one. If you're like, oh, I need to rest, drop that knee. That's so great, no problem. You get a wonderful stretch. Rock it side to side. Let's keep the left hand down and open up the right arm. So crescent lunge twist here. We could even circle that right arm. Circle the other way. Open up that shoulder joint. Good. And then both hands down. Step the left foot halfway in for crescent lunge. Okay, guys, look down at your feet. Come on up. We'll start with just the hands on the waist. All 10 toes facing the direction of your hips, okay? Level. We can gently make sure you're not over that right knee. The heel should be right above, excuse me, the right knee should be right above the heel. We can drop and lift. We can drop down and lift if that feels okay for you. Nice. Reach the arms up, stretch high to the sky. Push back through your left heel. Beautiful. And let's twist to the right. Feel what you're doing. Drop the right hand to the left thigh. Now see if you can actually get a little leverage and go for a little twist, gazing over your right shoulder. Good. Slow and control. We'll come back to center. Keep the right foot down, standing tree. Bring that right foot right up.
You can go against a wall if you prefer, or hold on. You can raise your arms, level two. You can close your eyes if you want to challenge yourself or gaze up. And slow and controlled, we're going to step back right into warrior two, right leg forward, bend the right knee, gazing over the right shoulder. Okay, try to crawl your feet as far apart as you can, maybe even further than you think. Sink your warrior, lift the sternum, pull that left arm back so you don't want it coming forward. Let's inhale up, straighten the right leg and re-sink. Three quarters of the way through class, you guys. Straighten the right leg, re-sink. Good, now right here, sinking deeper, crawl the left toes back. They're slightly turned in though towards the front of the body, okay? That helps for leverage. Let's reverse. Left hand down the left leg, gazing to the sky. And side angle, float into it. Beautiful, everyone, so good to see you. Our yoga dance here. Push with that right arm, shine the chest. Feel your core. Try to connect with it. Just keep getting to know throughout the day, not just in yoga, but the rest of the day. Try to connect with your core. Let's reverse. That will help support the spine. Increase, improve your posture. Straighten the right leg. Trikonasana overhead. So again, we're really working with core. Get that left shoulder back. Full trikonasana. Beautiful. So then we're going to go into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. You can go up against a wall if you need to. You can use a block. Put your block down if you like. And we open up the side body. Use that block if you like. Deep breathing. Good, and we're gonna just step the left foot back, back to crescent lunge, back to crescent lunge, and then rotate into warrior three. So we're gonna lift the left leg behind this. We're still on the right leg. So the same thing as airplane, you can airplane those arms, you can interlace them behind the back. Hang in there, a little bend through the right knee and lengthen. Bend that right leg, the supporting leg, and lengthen. Stay longer or step left foot to right. Tadasana, then inhale up. Deep breath, arch it back, you guys. Open the mouth. Push the hips forward. And slowly into Uttanasana, forward bend. Drop the head, let's just shake it out. Alternate bending knees. Let the hips shake right and left. Beautiful. Step it back for plank. If you don't want plank, take a moment in child's pose. Dropping both knees, stretch it back. Your choice. If you need a breather, because I know some of you are pretty new to yoga, take the breather. And let's all curl the toes under. Back to downward dog. Tread out the heels. Shake out the head. Again, if you're new to yoga, stay here or lift the left leg, level two. Sink your right heel, bend your right knee, little circles. Lift that left knee, sorry, left knee, left leg is up. But we also bend the supporting leg. Circle the other way. Nice, slow and controlled, left knee to nose. And step it through for low lunge. Now remember, you can drop the right knee if you need to. Low lunge, so we'll stay low. Try to drop the pelvis, feel that great stretch. And we'll keep the right hand down, left arm to the sky, go for the twist. 
Breathe it out. Nice. And release the left hand. Step the right foot halfway in. Crescent lunge. Left foot in front, guys. All 10 toes toward. We'll cactus the arms. High five. High five. <laughs> Our virtual high fives, you guys. Waking you up. Sink into it lower. <laughs> it's never too late to high five. Good, you can drop and lift. So we bend the left knee, we sink the right knee down. We bend the left knee, sink the right knee towards the mat. Beautiful. If that's too much, just stay in the lunge. Level two, let's all bring the arms overhead. Push back through the right heel, that's your leverage. The right heel should not be on the mat. Lean left. Left hand to right thigh, a wonderful twist over the left shoulder. Breathe it out. Beautiful. And step it forward, right into standing tree. So we bring the right foot to the left thigh. Hashmit, you better still be with us. This is all your idea. So we'll call this the Hashmit. He's from Turkey, my sister's boyfriend. Super nice guy. Let's grow our tree. In standing tree, try to open that right knee towards the back wall behind you. You want to feel that hip opener. You can use the wall. Slow and controlled. We'll step the right foot back, right into warrior two over the left knee. So bend your left knee, gaze over your left fingertips. See if you can crawl the feet further apart, you guys. Now look down at your left knee and there will be a tendency for it to cave to the right. Make sure it's right over the heel. So you have to keep pulling that left knee to the left. Same thing on the other side. Good, let's inhale up, straighten the left leg, re-stink. Deep breath, inhale up, re-sink, exhale. You guys lift all 10 toes. That's where you want your body weight to protect your knees, okay? Not into the ball of the foot, more into the heel. Let's reverse, float into it. Gazing up if you can. Beautiful, everyone. So great to see you in my living room. Side angle, shine the chest. Don't collapse, pull up. Pull up an inch or two, resync. Beautiful, and reverse. Staying in reverse, straighten your left leg. Feel that great stretch. Float into overhead trikonasana. Breathe it out. Full trikonasana. Push with that left arm. Nice. And then we're going to ease into Ardha Chandrasana. So you're going to step the right foot halfway in. You bend your left knee. Again, you can step back towards a wall or use your block. You want to feel as if you're between two panes of glass. Lifting that right leg, open that right shoulder. Slow and controlled, step it back. Turn back into crescent lunge and step onto the left foot, warrior three. Lift that right leg behind you. Pulling through the core, always getting familiar with that core. Airplane the arms, lift that right leg just to the best you can. A little higher if you can, bend the left knee, the supporting leg, micro bends and lengthens. That's gonna give you a lot more control. And right foot meets left. Beautiful, everyone, let's inhale up. Arch it back, open the mouth. 
breathe it out. Good, let's slowly hinge it forward. Forward bend, Uttanasana. Let's work with Artha Uttanasana first, so flat back. You can put your hands on your knees or if you have a block, straight spine is Artha. So knees are bent, try to get the abdomen to the thighs. Straight spine and then drop and round full Uttanasana. Just let it go, shake out the head, shift the hips right or left. You can stay here or go all the way down to Lavasana squat. Again, one of my favorite asanas. Try to do this a few times throughout the day if you can. Breathe it out. And we'll lift the hips again. We'll just do one more series of the back side of the body. Step both feet back. We're going to go into Chaturanga. So you guys, you can drop the knees, straight spine, bend the elbows. You can hover above the floor in Chaturanga and come up to Shalavasana. So we'll lift the arms. We want to really connect with the back side of the body. Kick up the legs, a little bit higher. Interlace the hands behind the back. Try to relax the neck. More kick up through the legs. You can bend the knees for bow. Kicking up into the hands. Close the eyes, open the mouth. I think this deserves an audible exhale. A little higher, breathe it out. Beautiful, everybody and left ear to the mat. You can windshield wiper the legs if you'd like. Massaging the quads. And we'll go right into baby cobra, legs down the mat, toenails pushing into the mat, come up, but don't push with the hands yet, you guys. Squeeze the glutes, pop up the kneecaps, and then slowly start pushing up to upward facing dog. But I want this free stuff. You can twist right or left, make it feel good for you. I like to roll into my quads here and my hip flexors because they're always tight. Good, and we'll push it back for open knee child's pose. Stretch it back. Nice, let's sit to the left, swivel the legs around. Okay, I do recommend a block, Hoshimotanasana. So that's a forward bend. If you have a pillow or block, you can sit up on that. We'll inhale up. This is it, guys. Shavasana right after this. And we'll alternate bending knees. You guys are looking so much stronger. Thank you for leaving your cameras on, most of you. I know some of you shy ones don't, that's okay. I sometimes take classes in my pajamas, so I get it. <laughs> Breathe it out. So one great thing about teaching, it actually gets me dressed for the day. That's a good thing. Bending and lengthening. Open the mouth. Nice. And when you're ready, you guys, let's roll to the spine. All the way back, pull the knees in. Don't abandon yourself here. Just stay with me if you can, two more minutes. We can relax right into Shavasana. This is the part where you get to feel your chakras opening up, the benefits of yoga. This may be the only quiet time you have. Take it.
Let's place both hands on our heart chakra. Thank yourself for making it to class today and taking care of your body. Connecting with whatever or whomever you're grateful for. Gratitude is the key to happiness and inner peace. You're welcome to stay here or slowly roll into the side. See if you can keep your eyes closed as we come up to sitting hands, heart center. Pressing the thumbs right into the breastbone. Let's inhale some positive, nurturing, loving energy. Nice. Bowing our heads. Namaste. So glad you all made it today. Thank you. I'll open up the mics if anybody wants to talk to each other. You can always email me. So good to see you all. If you have any questions, I'm at Yoga Wendy 2003. You can always unmute. Um, <laughs> I'm going to unmute you. There you go. You can always email me if you have any questions about anything or answers if you have answers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Thank Wendy. You. Nice to oh, see you all. Oh, I have a question, Wendy. This is Andrea. When you do that, hey, half, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. When you do the half moon, are you moving your hand down? And yes, all the way. Up, or do you put your hand down first? How does that? What's the proper? You keep your body as one unit, like in all the austenes. So I like to bring the foot forward, bend the knee, so the arm, nothing's gonna move in my upper body, okay? And so as the torso hinges, the leg comes up higher. So I never moved anything. I'm bending the right knee, it's in my right leg. Now what I recommend, because I know it's a really hard asana for most people, use a block. So nothing's actually moving. I, I'm just like this, okay? The only thing is my body's hinging. See, I'm not actually, I'm not actually lifting my leg any different than when it was down here. Okay, so you're not putting your hand on the floor. I don't, but okay. you can put it on a block. Okay. If you need a block. I, I don't tend to use props in this one just because uh -huh. I've been doing it for a while, but the wall is great. Yeah, so your hand would not be on the floor because then you're collapsing. Okay, all right, thank you. It's a yeah. little difficult for me, but I'm trying. It's a super <laughs> hard asana. Blame Hosh Schmidt. It's his idea. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you have always to always do. listen to him. <laughs> no, but you don't have to. I like half moon. You don't have to do it all the way here. There's always variation. So another one would be just come to here, like tap the toe, just like also in Warrior Three. You don't have to go all the way up. I mean, that's advanced. I've been doing yoga since I was a kid. You can just do it here it, and just get used to that balance. Balancing's good. It is super hard. Half moon's super hard. Probably one of the hardest asanas. Yeah, thank don't you. Don't get discouraged. <laughs> You're Fine. welcome. All right. Don't get, <laughs> don't get discouraged. I'll give more modifications next time. But just, definitely use a block. Or a chair. Yeah. Use a chair. Can I show you guys one more quick, quick, quick? I love chairs. So the same thing, have a chair nearby. And you could do the same thing with a chair. How, how much easier is that with, for control at first to strike the asana you want? And you know, mm. I'm not a big striker. So you can always come in and out. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Thank you.
Thanks for the class. I'm sure you're not the only one that has that question. Wendy, today I had trouble with audio. I can barely hear you. Is there anything I can do on my end? Yeah, there's a little um, mic in your upper left-hand corner that sometimes if it's not tapped on, it means, can everyone else hear fine? Yeah, yeah. I could. Yeah. So, so sometimes when that audio button isn't tapped on, so I, it, or it's on the bottom left, maybe, uh, you, maybe your volume on your, are you on a laptop, Marsha? Where'd you go? Oh, are you on your lap? You're on mute, Marsha. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, I'm going to unmute. For some reason, Marsha, you're muted. I'll unmute you. But it, um, there's some volume buttons that are controlled by... Uh,